Hey, hey, hello, my name is Tate, and today I'm doing the Do I Have That Book Challenge. Tag? Challenge? I don't know, but I'm doing it with a twist. Right now, as you can probably tell, I am at my college dorm, so I obviously don't have all of the books that I normally own with me. I have all of these books and then a couple that I couldn't fit, and then I shoved down here, so just don't ignore that. Versus at home, where I obviously have a lot more. I thought it might be interesting to see how many books I can get with this challenge here versus there, how many more of the challenges I would complete. So I just thought that sounded fun. I wasn't tagged or anything, I'm just doing this. There are 20 challenges, it's pretty simple. It'll tell me, do I have a book with blank? And then I will look for it, and if I do it, I win, and apparently you're supposed to time it, so I'm gonna time it. Three, two, one, go. All right, do I have a book with deckled edges? Yes. Um, where are you? Freshwater. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I'm not going to try right now. Deckled Edges. Look at that. Do I have a book with three or more people on the cover? Yes! The Burning Maze by Rick Riordan. One, two, three. Do I have a book based on another fictional story? Yes, I do. I have multiple, but I will go with... A Curse of Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer, based off of Beauty and the Beast. Do I have a book that's ten letters long? That was very fast. I just want you all to know I did that in like four seconds. And I Darken by Kirsten White. Do I have a book that starts and ends with the same letter? Yes, I have multiple. I'm gonna go with Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo, SS. Do you have a mass market paperback? I think, I think this counts. I think Anna Karenina counts. Do I have a book written by an author using a pen name? I'm gonna say no for right now. I'll probably figure out later that I do have one, but I don't know. Do you have a book with the character's name in the title? Uh, yes. Sal and Gabby Break the Universe by Carlos Hernandez. Two different character names in this. Take that. Do I have a book with two maps in it? Oh, Jesus. I count that as a map, so now I just need one more. Please give me one more. Nope. Can't read these between like this, but whatever. I don't think I do here, so we're just gonna let that die. Do I have a book that was turned into a TV show? Not here. <laughs> I don't think. I mean, Six of Crows is gonna get turned into a TV show, but I already used that one. Oh, you know what I can do? I'm gonna switch out. This is getting turned into a TV show, and this is The Miseducation of Cameron Post, TNT. I'm switching out. I'm a cheater. Do you have a book, originally, written by someone who's famous or something else? Yes! Secrets for the Mad by Dodie. She originally is a YouTuber and a singer, and then she wrote this book with all the pretty things. Cool. Do I have a book with a clock on the cover? I can't believe Geekerella doesn't have it. That's, that's just rude, honestly. I can't believe my two books that would have this don't have it on it. It's homophobic. Oh my goodness, I'm so stupid. The Clockwork, the Clockwork 3 by Matthew J. Kirby. This whole thing is like a clock, man. You can see the, the, the curves. It counts, okay? It's literally called The Clockwork 3, leave me alone. Do I have a, a oh, I thought it said do you have a pretty book. I was like, what? Do I have a poetry book? I don't think I have one he here. The closest I would have is Dodie, but it's not really a poetry book, so no. Do I have a book with an award stamp on it? Yes. I'm pretty sure it's Blink Logic, because everything with Ben Larry sounds. No, it's not on here. Wait, 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 wait. Damn it. I don't have one here, and it makes me sad because I thought that this one had ones on it, but I'm thinking of Ariane Dante. So now I'm emo. Do I have a book written by someone with this, an author with the same initials as you? I can just tell you right now, no. I've never seen a TT on my shelves. I can just glance. Yeah, no. Do I have a book of short stories? Ooh. I don't think so. The closest I would have would be Dodie, but again, I don't think that really counts, so I'm gonna say no on this one. Do I have a book that's between 500 and 510 pages long? This is the one that's gonna fuck me up. Honestly, I don't think I do. I mean, this is the longest book I have here, besides, and this is like 450, and I don't see anything longer than it, so we're just gonna say no. Do I have a book that's turned into a movie? Yes, I do. Golden Compass by Philip Pullman, turned into a movie. Apparently no one liked it. There you go. Do you have a graphic novel? No, not with me. Do I have a book written by two or more authors? I don't know if this counts, but... A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness was originally by Stephen Dowd, and then Patrick Ness finished it? Does that count? I don't know. It... Let me live my life. Okay, that, ooh, 
Pause it, Jamie. Eight minutes and 31 seconds. Cool. I, don't, I have no idea how anyone else did. I don't even know if other people timed theirs. Okay, now we're going to try to lift all these, so... Wish me physical and emotional luck. Okay. Woo! I'm literally... Woo! Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. I'm literally losing eyesight, losing eyesight, losing eyesight. What? You're losing what? Holy shit. So, I'm out of breath from lifting those. So out of the like 30-ish books that I have here at college, um, 12 of them out of 20 fit this. So that's actually pretty good, I think. Because that means that like almost half my books worked for the challenges. So like, take that everyone. I'm sure that I will have more when I get home. I have to film more, so I can't really film an outro. So this is the easiest thing I've ever done. Okay, cool. Bye, see you later. Time jump. Bloop. It's later. Hey, what's up? Obviously we're home now. I'm gonna adjust this. Shut up. Okay, so obviously I'm back at my parents' house and now I'm gonna do the same challenge, but I'm gonna do it here and see if I get more. And I'm going to try to not get doubles. I'm gonna try not to double up any book that I used there. I'm gonna try not to use here. But if it's the only one I have, then I'll use it, but if I have other options, then I'll try other options. Okay, cool. I'm gonna time myself again to see how much longer it takes me now that I have several things to look through, more bookshelves to look through. I recently unhauled a lot of books, quote unquote unhauled, that like I took them off the shelves and they're either gonna go downstairs with the rest of my family's books or they're gonna get donated. Um, so I might cheat and look through those if I need, um, but that's also maybe a bad idea because I'm currently using some of those to balance my uh, my microphone because I'm a professional booktuber. So this might be a really dad dumbass idea, but we're gonna do it. One, two, three, start. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, book with deckled edges. I know fresh butter does, but I'm trying not to use that. Do you have deckled edges? Ooh, you do! Okay, The Gilded Walls by Roshani Chakshi. Deckled edges, love that for me. Do I have a book with three more people on the cover? This is so much easier when I only have 30 books. Ha 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 ha! Okay, I'm counting this. The Boys in the Boat by Daniel James Brown. Three more people, they're in the boat. They're boys in the boat. Do I have a book that's based on another fictional story? Yes, and I can't use Cursed or Dark and Lonely, so I'm gonna use Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Based on Cinderella, not that hard to guess. I'm sorry, my little baby trans flag. Trans rights are human rights. Book with a title that's 10 letters long. I know that I have multiple, so like everyone suck it, and I know I can't use And I Darken. Almost. Almost. Okay. Haha. -ha. Ice Kingdom by Tiana Warner. I'm gonna make a video about this series soon because y'all need to fucking watch it. I mean, not watch it, read it. Okay, cool, yeah, love this. A book that starts and ends with the same letter. The Copper Gauntlet by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. The Copper Gauntlet. Do I have a mass market paperback? I don't know if I have one besides Anna Karenina, which I used last time. Let's see. This is where shit gets hard because I'm pretty sure I had others, but I started to unhaul them. So let's see. I'm out of shot now. Hello, I'm here. Literally getting into a box. I hate myself. Ah. Uh, gonna just balance that on my head. I'm an adult. An adult who has a box on her head. Well, it's not a box, it's a lid. That makes me more of an adult, right? Okay, I can't find the other, so I'm gonna reuse Anna Karenina by Delia Toy Story. Tolstoy. Do I have a book by an author that uses a pen name? Uh, definitely. Um, I don't know who I want to use. Um, oh, this is a good one. Um, the name of this book is Secret by Pseudonymous, Pseudonymous Bosch. This is actually like supposed to be funny because the book is supposed to be like secret <gasps> and they used a, a name that's like pseudonymous, like pseudonym. Do I have a book with the character's name in the title? Many. Um, we're gonna go with the love of my life, which is La Casa. Stop it. Oh my god. All of my flags are trying to fall over. Stop it. Okay. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Apple Charlie. I don't know why I forgot that for a second. I'm really tired. See, Simon. Do I have a book with two maps in it? 
Hmm. Hmm. Do you have any maps? If you don't, you're stupid. Wow, got him. That's a map. Hey, I think this counts. Ooh, this is pretty naked. I'm gonna take it off. I'll show you and then I'll take it off. Flamecaster by Sindo Williams Chima. I took it off so I could show you easier. But also, it's it's a it's pretty naked. Okay. Um, map one. Map two. See, those are those are maps. Do I have a book that was made into a TV show? Hell yeah, I do. Its name is City of Bones. Made into the Shadowhunter series. They don't really follow the plot anymore, but like. They did it. A book written by someone who was originally famous for something else. Ugh, do I have something besides for Dodie? Oh. Hmm. Okay. I'm literally really annoying, but okay. Okay, this is gonna be another double up because I can't find another book. If you see one on my shelves that you think works, then tell me, but I'm using Secrets of Man by Dodie. Do I have a book with a clock on the cover? Hell yes, I do. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. There's the clock, look at it and weep. Do I have a poetry book? Ooh, I don't know if I have a poetry book with me. I'm not a huge poetry person, and I almost never own them. Okay, do I have a book with an award stamp on it? Ooh, look, it fell over right where I needed it. Each Little Bird That Sings by Deborah Wiles. Um, this has the National Book Award finalist. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as me? I don't think so, but I'm gonna look. Blah, 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 blah. Stop, stop, shut up. Come on, Tiana, you were so close, Tiana. I don't think I do. Oh, get up. <coughs> Thank you. I could look through the piles of books on the floor and in a box, but I'm not gonna, so we're just gonna say no to that one. This one is, do I have a book with uh, a book of short stories? Do I have that? Um, I honestly don't think so. Oh, actually I think this counts. The Tales of Beetle the Bard. I think this counts because it, it, it's a book and it has little short stories. It has little tales, so suck it. Do I have a book that's 500 to 510 pages long? Jesus Christ, I don't want to do this. She too thick, he dummy thick. I can't believe I just said that on camera. You tall, you thick. Stupid. I hate this question, I just want you all to know that. Ugh. My life is hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't wanna die. Holy fucking shit, it's 514. Do I have any thick boys down here? I don't know if I do. Are any of you thick? But not too thick. We don't want too thick boys. We need medium thick boys. Medium thick boys only. Ugh. I've never hated anything ever again. Ever in my life. I'm literally losing brain cells. Okay, this is the last one I will try. And then I will give up because my life is too hard for this shit. Yeah, I'm giving up. That, well, I don't think I do. Um, that like, I think I've lost brain cells by the end of that. Do I have a book turned into a movie? Many. I'm not gonna go with the classic answers, um, because I'm a, a big adult who doesn't do that. Now I want to if you said the easier, but I'm not gonna go with Lord of the Rings. I'm not gonna do the basic stuff. I'm not. But also I might. Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk. This got turned into a movie. Do I have a graphic novel? <laughs> I actually do. Wait, where are you? The Serpent Shower by Rick Riordan. I asked my mom to me the third book, and she saw this, and she was like, this looks prettier than the normal book, so now I have it. Um, part of me hates that I don't have all three in the normal version, but also, like, it's cool, and I like having a graphic novel, because I haven't ever owned one before. And finally, do I have a book by two of my authors? I mean, I fucking hope I do. I hope somewhere. Wait, uh, the hot ah, oh, shit. But I already, already used them. Am I gonna have to cheat? Oh, wait! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Eleven- oh my god, I just picked up the wrong book. No one look at me! I'm ashamed. Okay. <laughs> Illumini by Amy Coffin and Jay Kristoff, two fucking authors. Pause the fucking thing, I want to get my time. Stop, you ho. Stop. Stop. Maybe I shouldn't have done that with my foot. Oh well. That took me about 16 minutes. Um, I assumed that it was going to take longer. It took about twice as long. Um, and now I have to lift all these up. But first, I have to reclothe Flamecaster. We don't want to leave 
watched the Lancaster lying about um, naked. If I'm thinking it right, I got 17. I had everything except I didn't have a poetry book. I didn't have a book with an author who has the same last name as me, like same, same initials as I do. And I couldn't find a book 500, 510 pages long. There might be somewhere in my house, but I, I'm not looking for it. It's too much effort. So now we're gonna try to lift this. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Oh God, Lord, Lord protect me. Holy oh shit. Oh God, 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 oh God. Holy fuck, holy shit. No, 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 no. Oh God, there we go. Ah, I am a strong ass bitch. My back hurts from this. Oh my God. Oh fuck. I need a second. I need a second before I set these down. Oh my God. Okay. I'm just gonna slowly lower myself to the floor. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm so scared. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ah! Yes! I did it without dropping any of the books. Holy crap. I'm kind of lightheaded now. That was really fun. Yeah, so that was that. Now my shelves are kind of ruined, but that's fine. So yeah, the at college I had 12 and here I had 17. So actually it wasn't that big of a difference. The only two that I think I doubled up on were Secrets for the Mad for an author that was originally famous or something else and Anna Karenina for Mass Market Paperback. But other than that, I actually did get like a different one for everything. I just wanted to gloat that like in just within those books I had, I had four books sitting just right there that all had 10 letters. So like, I just wanted to gloat. Um, thanks for letting me do that. Yeah, so that's all. I hope this was enjoyable to having the little twist of seeing what it's like having books one place versus another. I had way more books than I thought I was gonna have at college with me. That's pretty cool that like a third of my books worked for the challenge. If you want to do this, consider yourself tagged. I didn't really know if anyone wanted to be tagged. I don't know if you can tag anyone in this, but it was fun. And if you want to do it, then link me to your video because I want to watch all of them because I think it's fun to see like what books people pick, especially like when people pick the non-basic ones, like not picking Harry Potter or something. Thank you for watching. If you liked my mishaps, like the video obviously. If you want to see more from me, subscribe, and feel free to find me on Twitter and other social media. I'm on Twitter all the time, more than I should be. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye!